The Gut-Eye Connection. Did you know that gut health can impact vision? Hello, my name is Dr. Rani Bannock, and I'm a double board certified neuro-ophthalmologist and functional medicine practitioner. Today, I wanted to talk about a relationship within the body that many people may not be aware of. Most practitioners are very familiar with the gut's connection to many other organ systems in the body, the immune system, the brain, the skin, and also the cardiovascular system. But did you know that recent research has shed light on another surprising but important connection, one that extends from the digestive system to the windows of our soul, the eyes, known as the gut-eye axis? In this video, we'll delve into the interplay between the gut microbiome and eye health, uncovering how imbalances in gut bacteria may contribute to a wide range of ocular conditions. But before we can understand how gut health can impact the eyes, it's important to first talk about the gut microbiome. Within the gastrointestinal tract live at least 40 trillion organisms, collectively known as the gut microbiome. This is a diverse ecosystem of bacteria, viruses, fungi, and yeast. An estimated 1,000 species of bacteria alone live in the human digestive system, with 10 times the number of genes than found in the human genome. To date, only a few of these microbes are well understood. It's as if, in a vast orchestra, only a handful of instruments can be heard. But these early notes may lead to better understanding of how the gut microbiome plays a role in disease processes and ultimately their treatment. Many of the bacterial species found in the gut are beneficial, known as commensals. Others are pathogenic and may be associated with dysregulation and disease. There is a delicate balance between commensal good bacteria and pathogenic bad bacteria. If there's overpopulation of pathogenic bacteria, there can be a state known as gut dysbiosis. Beyond its digestive functions, the gut microbiome influences the immune system. The human gut houses up to 70% of the body's immune system, and the gut microbiome is linked to both innate and adaptive immune function. The Human Microbiome Project, propelled by advances in RNA gene sequencing, has elucidated the gut microbiome's impact on a wide range of immune-mediated diseases, such as type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, and ankylosing spondylitis, as well as cardiovascular disease. In ophthalmology, recent research has investigated the link between the gut microbiome, specifically gut dysbiosis, and the pathogenesis of several common yet potentially blinding diseases. When it comes to gut health and the eye, the most studied ocular condition is uveitis, a group of conditions characterized by inflammation of the eye. Uveitis can be divided into various categories, depending on which part of the eye is involved, the anterior, intermediate, or posterior segments, and also whether the inflammation is infectious or non-infectious. In non-infectious uveitis, there is an imbalance in the retina in the ratio of effector T cells, including both helper Th1 cells and Th17 cells, to regulatory T cells known as Tregs. Effector T cells are involved in inciting the inflammatory cascade, while regulatory T cells normally prevent autoimmune diseases from occurring. Based on animal models of experimental autoimmune uveitis, known as EAU, certain strains of bacteria have been shown to promote pro-inflammatory effector T-cell types, like Th17. This differential T-cell induction, based on changes in the intestinal microbiome, may result in either protection from or worsened autoimmune uveitis. Researchers at the National Eye Institute have found that T-cells could be activated in the gut to respond to retinal antigens through a process referred to as molecular mimicry. It's been hypothesized that these activated effector T cells travel from the gut to the eye via the bloodstream, cross the blood retinal barrier, which normally protects the retina from exposure to immune cells and inflammation, and subsequently trigger uveitis. However, it's not yet known which bacterial species or molecules from bacteria are involved in this pro-inflammatory process in the gut that can then negatively impact the eye. Uveitis has also been linked to increased intestinal permeability, commonly known as leaky gut syndrome. Researchers in Oregon have found that changes in intestinal permeability can be associated with increased severity and perhaps the pathogenesis of ocular inflammation in uveitis. Other research linking the gut to ocular inflammation showed that mice with EAU who were given a dose of short-chain fatty acids experienced decreased severity of uveitis. 
Short-chain fatty acids are naturally occurring metabolites of intestinal bacteria fermentation of dietary fiber. These short-chain fatty acids also promoted intestinal bacterial changes that increased regulatory T-cells in the gut. Yet another study showed decreased severity of EAU in mice given oral antibiotics, suggesting a link between the eradication of certain bacterial species in the gut with reduced ocular inflammation. Again, it's not yet fully understood which exact bacterial species are associated with these changes. Aside from these animal studies, human studies have also revealed differences in the gut microbiome between uveitis patients and healthy controls. One study from the National Eye Institute found that uveitis patients had less diversity in their microbiota and fewer anti-inflammatory microbes. One particular form of uveitis, known as vot koyanagi harada disease, or VKH, has clearly been linked to gut dysbiosis. Research from China led to a VKH classifier based on 37 differentially depleted or enriched microbes. This classifier distinguishes patients with good prognoses from those unlikely to respond to immunosuppressive therapy. For example, enrichment with Prevotella species and depletion of Clostridium species help to shift the gut microbiome from dysbiosis towards normal. Dry eye syndrome. Dry eye syndrome is a common condition in which the ocular surface dries out. It affects over 50 million people, both adults and children. Dry eye is also more common in women, suggesting a hormonal component. In dry eye, the tear film that normally coats the cornea and conjunctiva evaporates quickly, leaving the ocular surface dry and irregular. Dysfunction of tiny glands in the eyelids, known as meibomian glands, that secrete oils for the tear film, is a common underlying root cause of dry eye. Inflammation of these glands and the ocular surface plays a key role in the pathogenesis of dry eye. Research suggests that an imbalance in gut bacteria, or gut dysbiosis, may contribute to the development of dry eye syndrome. An imbalance can lead to an inflammatory response affecting the eyes, potentially contributing to the discomfort and dryness characteristic of dry eye syndrome. An animal study of dry eye showed that germ-free mice without bacteria in their gut have a more severe dry eye phenotype with corneal staining and surface inflammation. When these germ-free mice were put in a cage with healthy mice with normal gut microbiomes, the mice ate each other's stool. The guts of the germ-free mice were then recolonized with bacteria with improvement of their dry eye. Researchers from Miami performed a study looking at the potential benefit of a fecal microbiota transplant for patients with immune-mediated dry eye. The study participants were given two enemas with fecal microbial transplants. While the symptoms of some patients improved, others remained stable. The researchers are now looking into whether the gut microbiome was indeed altered with these two fecal transplants or whether more treatments may be necessary. Age-Related Macular Degeneration Age-Related Macular Degeneration, also known as AMD, is a leading cause of irreversible blindness, and it's estimated to affect at least 200 million people worldwide. AMD tends to affect older individuals above 50 years, with the prevalence increasing with age. In AMD, the central retina, called the macula, is affected and central vision may be lost. One major root cause of AMD is inflammation, with activation of the complement system. Researchers are looking at whether gut dysbiosis may activate complement that then may result in ocular disease. Another study found changes in certain metabolic pathways represented by intestinal bacteria in AMD patients compared to controls. Glaucoma. Glaucoma is a common eye disease that can cause irreversible vision loss and even blindness. In glaucoma, there is characteristic damage to the optic nerve, which connects the eye to the brain, with resultant loss of peripheral vision. The association between the oral and the gut microbiome and the development of glaucoma is another emerging area of investigation. Some patients with primary open-angle glaucoma, the most common form of glaucoma, have an abundance of certain bacterial species in their oral cavity, specifically streptococci. Though this finding suggests an association, it is far from proving causation and a direct link to the developing glaucoma. 
It has been hypothesized, however, that gut dysbiosis triggers changes in cytokine signaling and complement activation in the immune system that may ultimately lead to optic nerve damage and glaucoma. Tips for maintaining gut and eye health. Much of the research on the gut-eye axis is still in its infancy, and we have much to learn about the exact mechanisms linking gut health to ocular disease. However, one thing is clear, not just for vision health, but for overall health. It is important to maintain a healthy gut microbiome and to reduce intestinal permeability. Here are some simple yet effective ways to support gut health using nutrition and the principles of functional medicine. Number one, a high fiber diet. A high fiber diet will promote certain bacteria to be more predominant in the gut. And these bacteria produce short chain fatty acids that promote regulatory T cell differentiation and reduce the propensity to develop ocular inflammation. Number two, probiotic and prebiotic foods. Certain strains of commensal bacteria found in the gut tend to be anti-inflammatory. A diet rich in live probiotics, foods such as kimchi, yogurt, sauerkraut, and fermented vegetables can help maintain gut diversity. Also, prebiotic foods, such as those that provide resistant starches, inulin, soluble fiber, and beta-glucan can help support a healthy gut microbiome. Three, supplementation. Taking probiotic, prebiotic, and even postbiotic supplements can be beneficial. It is important to choose a probiotic with a high colony forming unit count, or CFU, with a diversity of bacterial strains. Consider a probiotic formulation curated for eye health called Balance. Balance provides 50 billion colony forming units, including 10 bacterial strains that are most backed by research. Balance is part of the supplement line curated for eye health, known as Ageless by Dr. Rani. Postbiotics or short-chain fatty acids that are byproducts of intestinal bacteria and are believed to help decrease inflammatory pathways. Also, supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids that are anti-inflammatory, such as DHA and EPA, also supports eye health on multiple levels, both the ocular surface and the retina. Soothe is a complete omega supplement curated for eye health and contains not only DHA and EPA, but it also provides an anti-inflammatory omega-6 known as GLA, along with omega-7 and omega-9 fatty acids. Four, hydration. Staying well hydrated is essential for both gut health and eye health. Proper hydration allows for healthy elimination of waste products by the gut, and it also promotes tear production and maintaining mucous membranes of the eyes. Five, stress management. Chronic stress can negatively impact the gut microbiome and contribute to inflammation. Adoption of stress management techniques like mindfulness, meditation, or yoga can be very helpful. Six, regular exercise. Physical activity has been linked to a healthier gut microbiome and can contribute to overall well-being, including eye health. Additional strategies on the horizon to support the gut eye axis include, one, targeted antibiotics. Changing intestinal bacteria with a targeted antibiotic has been shown to dramatically reduce the severity of experimental autoimmune uveitis based on animal models. This is believed to occur through bacterial changes in the gut that promote regulatory T cell differentiation. Targeted antibiotics may prove to be a useful strategy to heal gut dysbiosis along with ocular inflammation. Two, fecal microbial transplants or FMT. A healthy person's stool can be harvested and transplanted via colonoscopy, nasogastric tube, or an enema into the gastrointestinal tract of a person with disease. It is well established that in cases of Clostridium difficile infection, a fecal transplant is generally successful in eradicating infection, especially in the setting of ulcerative colitis. Once commensal and pathogenic bacterial strains for ocular disease can be reliably identified, as well as for healthy donors, fecal transplant for ocular disease management may be a treatment strategy to keep in mind for the future. Summary. As the intricacies of the gut-eye connection continue to be unraveled, it becomes increasingly clear that the state of the gut microbiome, often influenced by dietary and lifestyle choices, can have far-reaching effects on the health of our eyes. By nurturing the gut 
it may be possible to unlock new possibilities for protecting and preserving vision. As research advances, so too does our understanding of how healthy vision can be supported using integrative strategies. If you want more videos on root cause medicine, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share our videos. Until next time, this is Dr. Rani wishing you the best in eye health for the years to come. Welcome to Root the Health, the best place to order, manage, and track results from over 30 different lab companies in one single place for free. It's going to take you under two minutes to sign up, and you can order any functional medicine lab for your client in under 30 seconds. Let me show you how it's done. So here's our beautiful interface. I'm typing in the name of my client, selecting the lab that I want to order for them, and hitting send. From there, Rupa and their amazing team handle the rest. They email the client, collect payment, and even offer an interest-free three-month payment plan. We've also built the world's largest library of information about chronic health conditions, the lab tests that can help you find the root cause, and the evidence-based interventions that you can use to help people heal from them. It's called the Ruba Health Magazine. There, we have in-depth articles about almost any health condition you can imagine. And we give you step-by-step -step protocols that other clinicians have used to help their clients heal and that are verified by evidence-based sources. You should totally check it out and it'll transform your practice. And we can't wait to see you. So make sure you sign up today at rupahealth.com.